Welcome to another edition of the ID Video Market Report. I'm Anna Wells. And I'm Mike Hockett. Here are this week's top stories in distribution. Well, we're back after a short break for the Thanksgiving holiday and a little too much turkey and football, if that's possible. Here's what you missed. Granger hosted its annual analyst meeting at its Lake Forest, Illinois headquarters earlier this month, where Chief Operating Officer D.G. McPherson discussed several cost reduction initiatives, most notably the elimination of some 200 management and professional jobs. He said the downsizing is part of its efforts to gain broader spans of control and bring it closer to the customer, adding that some management roles will be moved offshore. The reduction will reportedly provide $25 million in annual savings. In other Big 50 company news, ID contributing editor Jack Keogh added to the discussion in his latest blog on Air Liquide's purchase of air gas. According to Keogh's report, Air Liquide sees huge growth opportunities in the U.S. and is considering additional bolt-on acquisitions. Air Liquide's president described air gas as the most advanced industrial gas company in the world in terms of e-commerce, saying it, quote, will give us a successful e-commerce platform for advanced products and innovation into companies, end quote. Radnor, Pennsylvania-based Airgas was founded in 1982 by Peter McCausland, who is now the executive chairman of the company. Bloomberg reported that McCausland, who owns 6.7 million Airgas shares as of March 31st, will receive $962 million in the deal. Command Corporation announced Monday that its aerospace segment has acquired Germany-based GRW Bering for $142.9 million. Command Chairman, President, and CEO Neil Keating said, GRW adds additional scale and new market segments to our most profitable product lines, specialty bearings, and engineered products. The businesses are aligned through a focus on solving the critical problems of OEM customers and achieving the highest standards of performance in the most demanding applications. I welcome the GRW team to command, said Keating. The industry lost a pioneer last week as Affiliated Distributors has announced the passing of its founder, David Weisberg. David was an icon in the electrical industry and worked tirelessly to support the partnership between manufacturers and independent distribution. He described his guiding principle in the formation of Affiliated Distributors as being to, quote, promote a more productive partnership between distributors and manufacturers, a partnership that would offer substance and value where both parties would benefit, end quote. Weisberg was 89. The top article this last week was from Patterson Pope's Denny Hammock, who outlines the top five warehouse management trends of 2015. Hammock discusses things like the enhanced sophistication of third-party logistics services, as well as how mobile devices can provide more accurate orders and shipping fulfillment. For the full list, visit our website at www.indist.com. And lastly, we'd invite you to register for our latest webinar, taking place live next Tuesday, December 8th. In the top distribution trends of 2016, you'll hear from industry experts Dirk Beveridge of Fourth Generation Systems, James Wagner of Sickage LLP, and Jennifer Murphy of NetPlus Alliance. You won't want to miss this preview, so check the ID newsletter for links to the registration page. Between the economy, competition, and new opportunities, there should be a lot to talk about. Yeah, it should be a great show, and bring your questions. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.